Hello friends, welcome to British Academy. And here we are going to discuss an example under the concept the pair of straight lines. So the given example is we need to find the equation of pair of lines those are intersecting at two comma minus one and parallel as well as perpendicular to the given pair of lines which is 6x square minus 13xy minus 5y square is equal to 0. So this is the given pair. Let us name this as equation 1. So first let us compare this equation with the homogeneous equation. So we get the values as a equal to 6 then 2h will be equal to minus 13 and b will be equal to minus 5. And now we need to find the equation of pair of lines those are perpendicular to the equation 1 and are intersecting at 2 comma minus 1. And now let us assume 2 as x is 0 and minus 1 as y is 0. So we already know that the equation of a line perpendicular to the given pair is given by the formula b into x minus x0 whole square minus 2h into x minus x0 into y minus y0 plus of a into y minus y0 whole square which is equal to 0. And then by substituting all these values as well as x0 comma y0 in this formula we get b which is minus 5 into x minus x0 which is 2 whole square minus of 2h which is minus 13 into x minus x0 which is 2 into y minus y0 which is minus 1 plus of e that is 6 into y minus y0 which is minus 1 whole square is equal to 0. So here let us use the formula of a minus b whole square and we get minus 5 into x square plus 4 minus 4x minus of minus 13 will become plus 13 into and then by multiplying the terms we get xy then x into plus 1 will be plus x then minus 2 into y will be minus 2y then minus 2 into plus 1 will be minus 2 and then plus of 6 into and here by using the formula of a plus b whole square we get y square plus 1 plus 2y is equal to 0. And now let us multiply the terms so we get 5x square minus 20 then here we get plus 20x and now coming to the next term so we get here plus 13xy plus 13x then minus 26y then here we get minus 26 plus of 6y square plus 6 plus 12y is equal to 0. So that implies here we can write x square term which is minus 5x square then xy term which is this one so here we get plus 13xy then y square term which is this one so here we get plus 6y square plus of and now let us group x terms which are this so 20x plus 13x will be 33x plus of y terms which is minus 26y plus 12y which in turn becomes minus 14y and then coming to the constants so here we have minus 20 then minus 26 and here 6. So by adding and subtracting all these terms we get the constant term as minus 40 is equal to 0. And now let us consider minus as the common factor. So we get 5x square plus 13xy minus 6y square minus 33x plus of 14y plus of 40 which is equal to 0. So this is the equation of pair of lines those are perpendicular to the given pair as well as they intersect at the given point 2 comma minus 1. And now let us discuss about the parallel equation. So the equation of lines which are parallel to the given equation and intersecting at a given point is given by the formula a into x minus x0 whole square plus of 2h into x minus x0 into y minus y0 plus of b into y minus y0 whole square is equal to 0. And then by substituting the terms we get a which is 6 into 
x minus 0 that will be my x minus 2 whole square plus of 2h that is minus 13 into x minus 2 into y plus 1 plus of b which is minus 5 into y minus 0 that is nothing but y plus 1 whole square is equal to 0 and then by expanding we get 6 into x square plus 4 minus 4x minus of 13 into by multiplying the terms we get xy plus x minus 2y minus 2 plus of minus 5 into y square plus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0 and then by multiplying the terms we get 6x square plus 24 then 6 into minus 4x will be minus 24x and then coming to next term we get minus 13xy minus 13x then minus into minus becomes plus so we get plus 26y plus 26 then here we get minus 5y square minus 10y minus 5 is equal to 0. So that implies by considering the x square term we get here 6x square then the next term is this one so we get minus 13xy then y square term is minus 5y square and then coming to x terms which are this one so here we get minus 37x and then coming to y terms so here this is y term that is 26y minus 10y will become plus 16y and then coming to constants we get 24 plus 26 minus 5 which in turn becomes plus 45 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of a line which is parallel to equation 1 as well as passing through the given point 2 comma minus 1. So as you can here clearly observe that the x square coefficient and y square coefficient are interchanged in case of perpendicular equation when as coming to the parallel to equation 1 both x square coefficient and y square coefficient remains same. So make a note of these formulas that is a formula to find the equation of a pair of lines those are perpendicular to the given equation whereas this is the formula to find the equation of pair of lines those are parallel to the given pair. Hope you understood the concept. For more videos, visit our website, Vidic Academy. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.